Now Walt Disney once said, I hope that we never lose sight of one thing, that it was all started by a mouse. Well, I have to disagree with Walt here, because it started long before Mickey Mouse whistled himself into our hearts. It started on October 16, 1923, when a brilliant young man signed a contract to produce a series of silent cartoons. To share the story of the Walt Disney Company since then, we've gone back to our roots and took a look at how Walt created that special magic and how his philosophies that he developed in his time still inform everything that we do at the Walt Disney Company. The big cheeses of the Walt Disney Company, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Let's do celebrate by cutting a ribbon, so let's do it. Okay, are you ready for this? Yes! Okay, we're back. I officially declare this exhibition open. It's automatic. There's something about if you have curiosity about everything in life. You don't know that this curiosity is important until much later. Uh, all the Imagineers were like this and that Walt would ask you to do something and you weren't terrified and you didn't know anything about it, but you already knew enough about quite a few different things. In my case, cars and airplanes, mechanical stuff, auto shop in high school, no engineering college training, none whatsoever. Walt would invite you to start to design something and you'd figure out as you went. And you were never frightened to do that because you know that your curiosity will go get all the answers that you need. That led to this 1959 monorail that Walt wanted a monorail and he basically says, Bobby, I want you to get started at ours and he walked away. 